Tuesday morning, July the 27th, 2021. This is my episode guide on Baseball Hall of Famers, how they got in, their stats. Episode 144, Larry Doby. How did he get in? 17 years. 1942-1959. Let's see. How did he get in? Cleveland Indians, 1,687 hits in 1,670 games. I hit a game. 277 doubles. Run scored 1,076. That's pretty good. Home runs, 273. That's pretty good in 17 years. RBIs, 1,094. And 287 lifetime batting average. Not eye popping numbers, but he did have one, two, three, four, five seasons of over 100 RBIs. That could have done it. His high in hits, 164. His high in runs scored, 110. He did that three times, uh, 100 runs scored in a season. Let's see the batting average. Oh, let's see. One, one, two, three, four. Four seasons over 300. He had a high of 326. Also had a 339 batting average, but that was only in 55 games. How does he get into the Hall of Fame? Larry Doby. Well, let's look. 1946. 339, 47, 310, next year 301. So he gets off to a good start hitting. Then 280, 1950 is a good year. 25 homers, 102 RBI, 110 runs scored, 326. That's a good year. Then he bats 295. Then in 1952, a good year, 32 homers, 104 RBIs, 276. Comes back next year, 29 homers, 102 RBIs, 263. Next year, 32 homers, 126 RBI, 272. Next year, 26 homers, 75 RBI, 291. 1956, 24 homers, 102 RBI, 268. Then he goes 288, 283, 230. Stops playing 1959 at 35 years old. Well, he was on pace for 2,000 hits. He was on pace for 350 homers. On pace for about 1,200 RBI. But he stops at 35 years old. 287 lifetime batting average. His high was 326. His high in RBI is 126. Here's a good stretch of homers. 1948, 14, 24, 25, 20, 32, 29, 32, 26, 24. So that was a good stretch. 273 homers. Numbers are not that high that they could have been, but he got in. Larry Doby. Next on the list, Lou... Bordero, Lou Bordero, Bordero, Lou Bordero, Hall of Fame. Well, look at his numbers. Thanks for watching. I'm out.